Hi, thank you for tuning into RioBet Support YouTube channel. My name is Mayank Bhatti, and in this video, we are going to talk about zones. So this is gonna be our agenda for today. First, we'll talk about what is a zone in Still Connect world, how to create and delete a zone, different settings at the zone level, followed by a quick demo. So let's start with the zone overview. Zones are nothing but the subnets or VLANs at a site. In the Still Connect world, we call them zones. There can be multiple zones in a site as per the requirement. So for example, in my headquarters, if I need separate networks for wired users, wireless users and guests, then I will have to create three different zones and define networks including the subnet mask for all the zones. For each zone, there will be a gateway defined with last octet as dot one by default, which can be changed accordingly. Also, VLAN tag is assigned to each zone from the VLAN pool base starting from 1000 by default. Now as soon as we create a site on the SCM, a default zone is always created from IPv4 network pool and that default zone will always be the management zone. Now I can make any zone as management zone but just remember that there can only be one management zone in each site. So let's quickly cover up all these things in a demo. All the zone related settings are found under network design and zones. When the site is created, by default a management zone is automatically created. As you can see here, there are two management zones, one for each site. We can create multiple zones from here. Select the site where this new zone should belong to. Name the zone if it is wireless LAN, wired LAN or guest zone. If it is for guest, then it is recommended to flag it as a guest zone from here. This enables the optional guest portal when the zone is broadcasted and it also enables some special security rules for the guest traffic. You can define the network as per the design or you can let SCM create for you automatically. I will leave this blank for SCM to create a zone in 172.16.0.0 network. You can also change the gateway assignment as manual or automatic. I'm going to leave it as automatic for now. Next, I can select the appliance as default gateway for this zone. I can leave the VLAN tag field blank and let SCM assign it for me. Once I click on submit, a new zone will be created. Now in order to delete a zone, select the zone and use this drop down menu item to delete it. I have already created one guest zone and one zone for wireless users. So let's cover both of them one by one. Under guest zone, I can only see there are three tabs. This shows our IPv4 network default gateway with the last octet as dot one. I can also enable or disable IPv6 and select which gateway will be the default gateway for this zone. Under settings, we can edit the name and VLAN tag. And under breakout, we can configure internet breakout settings for this guest zone. Now if I select any other zone which is not flagged as a guest zone, then I'll see more options. Under IP tab, here again we can see IPv4 network with the default gateway as dot one in the last octet. Under gateways, when the default gateway is set to automatic, then it will use the default gateway IP address defined on the IP tab. You can also set it manual and configure all these things as required. Under DHCP, you can see the address range and see the least time of 12 hours. You can change it as per the requirement. Under VLAN, we can set VLAN tag, policy tags and enable and disable the management zone flag. Under WAN Auto VPN, again we can configure internet breakout and VPN membership. Under settings, we can edit the name of the zone, enable or disable ICMP traffic in this zone and also add third party routing. Under additional network, you can run several IPv4 networks in the same zone. Last but not the least, under discovered networks, we can see the network learned from routing protocols. Thank you for watching this video.